Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Kevin Laurent. He's with the University of Kentucky as Extension Livestock Specialist there. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Kevin, for many years, you've worked with the West Kentucky Bread Heifer Sale, and it has grown and has become one of the prime places to get replace bread replacement heifers. It has. Uh, I think we started the sale in 2000, and so uh, and, and it was for spring Kevin heifers at the beginning, and uh, so here we are. We got Saturday, November 20th. We're, we're going to be having a, a sale for spring Kevin heifers, and at 12 noon central there at the Guthrie uh, Stockyard. And looks like we're gonna have close to 250 head offered, so. So the consigners that participate in this program, they have to follow a specific set of guidelines. They do, and, and it's, it's pretty strict guidelines. In fact, our guidelines far exceed what is uh, required for cost share for bread heifers, uh, whether it be the CAPE program in Kentucky or the TAEP program in Tennessee. So we exceed those guidelines. It's for pelvic area, for uh, uh, the calving ease, direct EPDs for the service sires and the bulls that are breeding these heifers. And um, those bulls have to be genomic tested. And, uh, and then we have health guidelines that go along with it. So uh, it's, a, it's a pretty extensive set of, set of rules. So if somebody has never attended before, what can they expect? You mentioned two, almost 250 heifers there that are available for purchase. Are they commercial heifers? Are they purebred heifers? Are they a certain breed? What, what would I expect to come see when I come? Primarily, they're going to be black heifers. Now, uh, we're seeing a, a, you know, a, a premium, if you will, or a demand for some crossbred heifers, which is good. And I think uh, and, and we want to have a crossbred cow from a hybrid vigor standpoint, but it's primarily a commercial sale. Um, uh, we will have a, a set of red heifers, you know, usually have 15 to 20 red cross type heifers too for folks who like those. We've got some cattle that are, you know, beef master crosses, Brangus influence, some Gelby and Continental Simmental influence, but it's going to be basically a, a black heifer sale. Uh, with a few, you know, with a few of, of our Red Cross kind of cattle in there too. We break the sale down. We, we try to call it a farmer friendly sale. It's not a high pressure purebred type sale atmosphere. The uh, auctioneer goes slow. Um, we don't take people on bids. I mean, it's, a, it's very user friendly. We encourage people to come out early. So if the sale is at noon, we'll have the heifers in their sale pen at like around nine o'clock. And we encourage folks to come out there, get in the pen with the heifers, see if the disposition is what they want. You know, we'll be trying to screen them for disposition on the farm. But when the cattle come to town, you know, they sometimes they don't take the trip very well. So we we really want folks to see the heifers and, and, and get on the ground with them ahead of the sale. And if they're not what you want, you know, you know, not to bid on them. We want folks to be satisfied with their purchases. Absolutely. Now, if people want to take a look to see what offering that you have, the, there's a catalog and you can view that online. Yes, it, well, a couple things. Our, by the middle of next week, um, we'll have the videos and pictures and breeding information on the, on the web. And that's kyheiforsale.com. Um, so they can see that. And then about three days prior to the sale, which is November 20th, uh, I'll have a draft of the sale order loaded online also. And then you can go in and see how we've got them broken down by sale pins. Now we're going to check them one more time on that Friday prior. And so we may, you know, still screen one or two out, you know, a bad foot or a, you know, a pink eye scar or something. We may catch something. So that, that sale order may change just a tick, but it, it's going to be primarily what you're going to see when you get there on Saturday. We have two sales a year. And our next sale will be in May, and it's for our fall calving heifers. So, uh, but we'll have it coming up in May. So, all right, Kevin. And all that information will be found on the website. Yes, uh, the web page, the website is kyheiferSale.com. All right, Kevin. Thanks for bringing the information. And if you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.